Welcome comrades to Social Justice Warrior News Channel, the place for all things with emotion. Today's show is sponsored by Dr. Fauci's 10 Jabs a Day Foundation. Our studio was built on land stolen from amoeba oozes. Let's get right into making up the news. Our first story is about the White House announcing that Joe Biden is to receive a prestigious title of Supreme Leader. The Supreme Leader title is being bestowed upon His Greatness due to a recent $10 billion government survey and study that proved conclusively that President Joe Biden is the best president currently occupying the White House. Our next story is about Elon Musk. He is set to fire 75% of employees, replacing a large number despite great people already at twi Twitter. Twitter was previously scheduled to hire John Fetterman to fully and clearly explain all policies and procedures. Here he is explaining what constitutes a strike on YouTube. Well, the staff and per per it. So clear and concise. America needs this kind of leadership. He'd make a great senator too. Elon was asked on Twitter about hiring Fetterman, but failed to respond. Our belief is that Twitter is no longer working correctly, is now broken, and he probably didn't get the message. He supposedly has engineers reviewing the code and algorithms. Anonymous sources confirmed Elon is going to hire Donald J. Trump and put him in charge of content moderation. More fascist tweets are inevitable. Elon is already ushering back in the fake news, including Babylon B. That is now reinstated. They regularly spread fake news stories. Elon clearly doesn't know what he is doing running a company. Now we'll turn you to a video of him carrying in a sink. Elon was recently carrying this sink in and nobody knows why. I thought it was probably a gift for all the great employees doing fantastic work at Twitter, but then he fired all the important people. He will likely ruin the Black Lives Matter wall inside Twitter, and ruin content moderation and fact-checking as we know it. To combat the coming fascism by Elon Musk, we've created a new Social Justice Warrior News app to help you on Twitter. Our program add-on, called Truth Social Justice Twit Rainbow Bird, helps with all things Twitter. It keeps you from posting things that you shouldn't. It helps you navigate the social justice warrior world. In addition, it will automatically have you following important people to follow on Twitter. We take all the work out of posting good tweets. Check out our app today. It is clear that the war against us in Ukraine is important. No cost is too big. We cannot let Russia win our territories. Joe Biden recently explained how much money is needed by Ukraine in support of the war with Russia. Over a billion, two hundred, a trillion, two hundred billion dollars. That sounds like a lot. But remember that the government can easily print that and more without consequence. We are not even in a recession and Joe Biden has done great at keeping inflation under control. Biden is putting a stop to predatory bank junk fees and cable cancellation fees to help the economy. The junk fees are going to give Americans a little bit more breathing room. So look, we understand um, that there's more work to do. We understand that families are being squeezed uh, by what's happening currently with inflation. Uh, but again, we have seen some uh, moderation. I believe we'll continue to see that. Don't want to get too much into uh, into uh, the economist world. Uh, but uh, but because of the president's economic policies, uh, we we have made sure, the president has made sure that we don't leave anybody behind, uh, that we have a strong labor uh, market, that unemployment is at the lowest that it's been in 50 years, and that matters. And we should talk about that as well, as well as acknowledging what American families are going through. This should greatly ease inflation 
and is a great first step towards socialist price controls. In fact, now would be a good time for Joe Biden to just pass a law with an executive decree locking in the best prices and stopping all needless fees. We probably didn't realize that things like blockbuster video late fees were greatly affecting inflation. This is capitalistic greed. Capitalistic greed like this needs to be stopped. We can't have businesses charging whatever they want, whenever they want. Speaking of fees, PayPal snuck back in the fees for misinformation by its customers. This was the fee they spoke of before at $2,500 and accidentally posted before saying that they didn't mean to post yet. Now the policy is finally perfect and has been properly snuck into the terms of service. This includes the ability to hold the money for six months, even preventing account closure in case they're exposed to any liability from your misinformation. This is important to them as a social media company to protect what they allow you to post. We strongly support them in their fight against fascist misinformation. We know misinformation like this costs companies greatly and even has drastic negative effects on inflation. PayPal has a right as a business to charge whatever they want anytime they want. In similar news about fascists spreading misinformation, we see that Google is being vigilant in making sure people don't spread hate speech on their private drives. These infectious files are being automatically removed. Good. This is yet another violation of Google's right to privacy and puts them at risk of being exposed to liability. They should work more closely with the White House in determining what is appropriate for storage on these private drives. Privacy has no place anywhere on Google servers. Let's go to a quick commercial. Libtard Spirit Cooking and Costumes would like to let you know where you can dig up some of the best and most realistic Halloween supplies. We've taken over the location at the Old Stone Creek Cemetery and Biden Voter Support Station. We've got all your essentials for an extra spooky and extra realistic Halloween. We have a really great supply of very realistic skeletons, rotting corpses, tattered clothes, and coffins. Real coffins that have been buried for years to give them a realistic smell and appearance. We've recently added a new Apprentice Gravedigger program right there on the site of the old cemetery. Participants get to rent mini shovels for use with buckets of dirt to search for buried treasure. Imagine the fun of finding ancient fossils, rings, necklaces, even ancient teeth. Our little Apprentice Gravediggers can even enjoy other amenities, such as our VIP corn maze. It'll be sure to keep your kids entertained for hours, just like it did for our special VIP. When they are done with the maze, they'll get a signed piece of corn as a souvenir. That's right. For some reason, our special VIP signed every piece of corn, and we're giving them away as a special token of your child's accomplishment. And don't forget, we have lots of costumes, even costumes of our VIP guest. This famous costume is part of our super creepy Heroes in Washington collection. While not safe for children, this makes a great scary costume even for adults. We have all your favorite scary political figures. Don't forget we have lots of great accessories like Kamala Harris knee pads, an assortment of cross-dressing and government outfit sets. We have TikTok star costumes with before and after gender change upgrades. We even have on-site pumpkin carving right behind the tattoo stand. That's right. You can choose to buy super scary permanent tattoos. Get those tats inked on while at the same time carving your very own pumpkin. Our never fade tattoos mean you'll never have to buy them a costume again. We're located at what used to be the Stone Creek Cemetery on State Route 32, just north of the Star Smuck sign. Come dig up everything you need for Halloween. Welcome back, comrades. Hillary Clinton is still as involved as ever and will likely get the Clinton Foundation working to benefit charities again. There is still lots of work for her and Bill to do in Haiti. Now we turn you over to this video. Hello, Indivisibles. 
I'm here to highlight something that <laughs> is keeping me up at night. And I know this group really understands what I'm about to say. I know we're all focused on the 2022 midterm elections and they are incredibly important. But we also have to look ahead because you know what? Our opponents certainly are. Right-wing extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. And they're not making a secret of it. The right-wing controlled Supreme Court may be poised to rule on giving state legislatures, yes, you heard me that correctly, state legislatures the power to overturn presidential elections. Just think, if that happens, the 2024 presidential election could be decided not by the popular vote or even by the anachronistic electoral college, but by state legislatures, many of them Republican controlled. But there's also good news in the face of this very real threat to democracy. Indivisible has launched Crush the Coup to make sure we're ready to defend democracy in 2024. They've put together a list of critical races in six key states and how you can get involved. Will you support Crush the Coup by donating to indivisible and state legislature candidates? Each of these races is highly competitive and your dollars could very well decide the winners and the winner of the next presidential election. This could not be more important or more urgent. I'm sorry. My Tourette sometimes gets the better of me. We need to heed these warnings. 2016 was a sham. I don't think she's going to win the presidency in 2024. There are too many great candidates. Liz Cheney, Joe Biden, I do hope Hillary runs in 2036 after Joe completes his fourth term. James Comey did frame her last time she ran by smashing her phone. She would be perfect running against Trump, but Joe has a lot of public service still left in him. Our next story is about the state of emergency in California. Governor Newsom has announced that the COVID-19 state of emergency will end on February 28th, 2023. I think it shows incredible leadership to know emergencies so well. Imagine knowing that it is still a severe emergency and yet know so much about it that you can determine the exact date when it will be over. That's leadership at its finest. California has it going on. They're even free from hurricanes due to their great climate policies. Gavin Newsom will make a fine president someday. In our next story, we learn that Sucker Turd has been losing lots of money. He is now reportedly worth something like $37 billion, down from like $118 billion. And Facebook, now called Meta, has lost about $700 billion in value. I don't know what the problem is, I think there's probably too many fascists on Facebook, and they need to shut some of that stuff down anyway. At any point, Zuckerberg is now experiencing a lot of hardship. We don't know how he can make ends meet with having about a third of his income now. Good luck to you, Mr. Zuckerberg. Our next story, New York announces a name change for monkeypox. They say the older term is too stigmatizing, and the health department said they can't wait any longer. They report, the previous name is an inaccurate and stigmatizing label for a virus that is primarily affecting a community that has already suffered a long history of bigotry. The health department said, a possible reference to the LGBT community, which vast majority of monkeypox cases have been located. The city said in an update on its health website that, moving forward, 
the health department will refer to the virus as MPV, which now means monkey penis virus, thereby removing the stigmatizing pox term from the virus. Other names considered were man love pox virus, gay monkey 19 virus, pox of the penis, monkey AIDS, why is my pee pee burning and itching, dingo pox, fruity pox, red nippled wrinkle bagitis, and gades. Now to some news about Biden showing off his driving skills. He is such a well-rounded president. On a recent edition of Jay Leno's Garage, President Biden took his Corvette Stingray and raced it against late Secretary of State Colin Powell's son, Michael. President Biden was confused why Secretary of State Colin Powell was late. Rumor has it there was some kind of really weird bet, and it's unknown who won or lost. Wasn't that fantastic? And now our last story. Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked in their San Francisco home. Nancy has been in politics for 90 years, and when Reach for Comment said that MAGA Republicans will stop at nothing to defeat green energy. We asked how she knew, and she said, how could it not be? The attacker is to face insurrection charges and will be called to testify before the January 6th committee. On a serious note, please consider the safety of your kids this Halloween with their candy. There is rainbow colored fentanyl tablets that look like candy such as sweet tarts. There is also certain houses you should talk to your kids about avoiding at all costs. Well that's all for the news we've made up today. Tune in next time when we discuss how Joe Biden should sell the rest of the strategic oil reserve to Elon Musk to improve the fuel efficiency of all Teslas. We now turn you over to Karen on Twitter for the really important news. Good evening, comrades.